Yeah, so this is our overall um, sharing. Um, we're going to go over a little bit about um, the, the move on um, some of the uh, feature, um, uh, what kind of the special feature, um, what kind of the security building uh, characters that they already come from, and some of the common pitch for that we are uh, uh, seeing as some project already I'm starting with, and also sharing a bit on the best practice uh, when performing like move security or audits. Next. Yeah, so a uh, quick overview about the group. Uh, it's a common language for smart contract that were on uh, the end blockchain, uh, originally from Meta. Uh, it's, a it's a program of uh, resource base, you know, meaning that uh, some of the resources that can help you copy or implicitly uh, discard it. And right now it has been adopted in a uh, few of the our blockchain solutions, and Meta is one of them. Yeah, so a quick overview of the uh, feature. So the very first one is, this is not like a dynamic discussion, but then it is, uh, move is come from standards, right? So um, uh, compared to uh, regular solidity, uh, there will be a chance that uh, a contract can be involved uh, and not a contract to interact. And sometimes you report it to the node address and you're not doing like what kind of uh, feature or maybe the action that the contract will be, uh, you know, but move is a static one, meaning that uh, everything is pretty compiled or very on the blockchain. So the other one, like the resource, is a strut type. Uh, so they come from, uh, they come with like a special uh, characteristic, like a resource base. So meaning that the strut values uh, cannot be copied from dropped outside the particular project. And all these data are open and stored in the account. So. Um, there is a few of the examples here, like where you can see um, uh, in the uh, picture. Is uh, pay attention to the test part. Right? Uh, maybe I can go over to a little. At the beginning, we prepare like a struct point. There is a value, it's an uh, init um, 64 format, and then have another struct that we're coming from the main event, and having a resource of a uh, job ability and store. So when you declare a uh, predictable test function, you will see that um, we declare a variable called coin and we mean it for 100. And then we just like leave it on loop and use, and it will, at the compiler level, it will start uh, bring out all these like, um, you know, uh, type of the notice saying that um, you cannot just send it along. So this is a pretty, pretty good feature for a program. So another one is like reference with an immutable and mutable. So um, it's a very restricted, it would be really bad if you only are getting a value and only read only or maybe like retrieving the data and not changing any value, then it would be a very bad practice just using like an immutable value, right? Just making sure that you're not this, uh, doing any mistakenly assigned uh, any malicious value to that value itself. Um, and also the extra four uh, type of ability we're coming from is copy, which allows the value to be copied. And uh, drop as a name, that you can drop the value. Um, so it allows the value to uh, exist uh, inside a, uh, what will be stored in the global storage. And the other one is like key. Um, so it, it just serves like a key um, that you can for uh, within the global storage operations and numbers. Yeah, another one is acquire, right? So the function is sometimes explicitly uh, indicate the resource um, and you will uh, point down the uh, what kind of uh, resource will be acquired for using here. So some of the method if you acquire here, uh, you can see that the function with draw actually require the resource from the point store. It's a resource type. So it, it, and then the next one, um, if you want to use some of the method, for instance, like borrow global mute. Um, um, and also move to move them, it also requires the acquired uh, resource type. Yeah, another great feature that coming from is the formal recognition part, uh, which is a move So in here, this is a reference from the right, um, the, um, the right paper that were inherited from the um, David Gill. Um, he's the one that we're uh, writing the move over. So in here, like, it, it can see that um, the overall uh, explicitly um, 
um, I like wrap it out like how they doing the full work. So the code itself, um, the MOOC code will be go through the MOOC master and then having some specification on the Google author itself and then translate it into a Google translator. So Google translator you can think about is a set of documentation to when you combine it. And within the Google you would uh, a book, a book game, right? Um, it comes with uh, some of the common recognition to, for instance, C3, uh, SMT software, or uh, CBC4. Um, and then they would like completely general you know, uh, coffee mechanisms. So um, I just like explain one quicker example that was providing in the tutorial. So in here, the function math calculations is taking like two parameters, like two and eight sixty four. Uh, and then at the end, the return, result will be also returning an A64, right? It's just doing this very simple math um, x plus y divided by x. So, what kind of error do you guys see in this line? Okay, so in here, there is a two point of case. One is x plus y will be greater than the maximum average city of the A64, which will cause the overall. And the, the other kind of case is what if the x is a zero value? So in both uh, programs, they will come in like you can people can write this back and then they can prove that okay this is the like intended um, you know scenario and it would not be correct in these two specifications. So this is a uh, really, uh, great feature and where the like, engineer can um, write the specification by himself. Yeah, another additional one is called like viewing resource safety guarantee, which is a runtime micro verification, right? Uh, in the previous slide, we mentioned about like the compiler level, um, uh, move already doing a lot of great things to you know uh, guarantee engineer to not uh, you know like prevent some of the early stage uh, compiler level error mistake, right? Uh, for instance, the check, type check and stuff. Um, here, the sample code you can see is like for instance. We have a function that's so called like burn twice, and it's taking the point uh, 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 structure right, and burning twice. But in, in here, like the compile level are already coming up with some of the uh, you know error message saying that okay, um, the point is inside the value of point was here both here, and but it and it requires to have like a copy copy point to avoid the move right. So this is already ahead of time uh, before the program got executed, uh, already by the engineer and the fix. But, but the problem is uh, move uh, or even writing like the move syntax um, uh, uh, um, you know, smart contract, right? People also able to uh, write this type of instructions and be able to compile it into a bytecode. To execute. So what it will be running inside, so that's why it will come up another layer of the runtime checks. Is um, for instance, if this is if some of the hardware were maliciously writing up the instructions like the left panel here, burning the twice, and taking some of the argument on, right? The first one is about moving the locations um, to a zero and then call burn and the rotation again and call and return the result, right? So in here, if just in case if any of the uh, hardware were injected from this code here and then compile into, uh, into a bytecode and deploy it on the blockchain, that um, additional check here would be the bytecode verifier were able to capture the error at the one time and saying like um, it's not allowed to publish. So um, this is one um, a quick um, um, a comparison from the move Solana and Solidity. Um, this actual reference from the Aptos um, website. Um, so I guess I, uh, from the contract level, move um, right from the module uh, Solana is a little bit on the program chart, and Solidity is more on the contract type. Um, and there will be a quite difference on the uh, memory safety is uh, Move is using the resource and Solana is more on the memory of uh, ownership. So, um, and moreover, uh, some of the preview uh, Move feature already preventing some of the, for instance, the entrance attack and delegation call. 
to which um, select it is um, on a serial application level. Yeah, and a, a definite biggest difference is between the account design. The account design uh, between the three platforms, um, Apple is more emphasized on code and resource. Um, and Solana is come with the you know a long box, um, which is a uh, if we're current, the owner is available data in the rent average, right? And so so let's get, uh, it's more emphasized on the numbers, the balance, storage, amounts, and the code hash. So uh, in here, uh, the difference is from Sol uh, Solidity and Solana, a smart contract do have an address on the blockchain. But from Apple, the smart contract do not have a particular address, but they were stored in the, um, where the person who uh, signing the transactions. So, and so where when you're searching, you have to use a the deployer, trans uh, deployer address and then look for the resource um, to find out the smart contract. Yeah, so there is a few of the quick some of uh, feature for. Uh, the, the first one is like a bunch of visibility. So even though like Ross will maybe like move back, which is a pretty good design, but uh, many times engineers were not quite uh, restricted when using the visibility from the modifier. Um, so many times when some of the function need to be private, they just set it to a public. So anyone can call it without any of the restrictions. Um, we have seen like uh, many of the um, you know the security while well, maybe we're causing this type of uh, uh, pitch for. Um, so, but in both there, we we have the common particular you know disability design. Um, the first one is like the public, like where it can be called in uh, any of the function defined in module or the scripts. Um, and then that one is called like public friend, which is a little bit more restricted than only from the public modifier with the friend that's um, and internal, and uh, this is which is designed by uh, before we will keep only inside the, um, the one single module itself. Um, and the other one is like mathematical operations. So um, resource are uh, always like update your you know, different uh, uh, function, for instance, like you're moving around the feature of uh, the resource, and you might have a chance to split and merge. But the value of it depends on some of the you know, calculations. Um, and in here, uh, what the building is from the grass of it, and also the uh, of this, um, the integer overflow and underflow are mostly taken care of. But um, the rounding error is still probably the biggest problem. Um, because I went the application on the building, the fund that locked in the smart contract. Uh, at the beginning will be relatively small. So losing some of the persistence is okay. But think about if the assets are become much more like bigger than now, like 100 times, 1,000 times. Um, the loss of the persistence will become a really huge value um, in here. So in the past, we usually see this issue on it, for instance, the sticking contract, how people calculating the reward, um, etc. Uh, uh, some of the, you know, the value transitions on the fee population sectors. Yeah. Um, and your one is like the access control, right? So, um, always have to be careful uh, which of the function that we buy at the particular locations uh, on a particular sign and evidence. Uh, just make sure not every single uh, function will be motivated by any random address assignment. And the last one is like the logical issue that we're mostly involved with the technical uh, validations. So uh, many, uh, some of the function contract that always think something about uh, input validation chart. So a bad or lack of a validation chart would lead to a more than a million dollars of cost. Um, so this is why we always encourage people to uh, do remember and uh, sanitize some of the important parameters that we change to function itself, it could be like a month address or maybe like a timestamp and we can try to track um, after some of the uh, assets on the other round. Yeah, so um, now the next one is like uh, a little bit of the best practice. Uh, I would say it's still very similar to the traditional software development. Um, so this is regular that local group um, and which people uh, maybe the developer can have. 
uh, for instance, having a clear view on the criteria or maybe the design block. Um, understand what are the length um, or maybe like the, uh, um, the weakness in your system and then be able to write it out some of the that are the ways of the And always have much more than one uh, peer review and writing tests in a common way. But in here, because uh, it already uh, the program majority really with the common reputation program, so I, um, we actually encourage our engineer to be able to write some of the uh, you know, like uh, specifications uh, during the testing phases. So this may actually be helping you know, uh, security or the company um, be able to, you know, having an uh, amount of review based on the specification you guys write. Because uh, when you're writing a spec, right, you mostly engineer will understand like, what are the uh, corner case that you are need to be worked by uh, or maybe specify the project itself. And it will definitely help them and speed up on the auditing process. So I guess that, that would be like a general um, learning structure to share about um, moving to uh, uh, ready to move into the world is not on the government. Yeah, thanks.